a rematch of the state title game from last year. This season, a combined 19-0. and It's pretty easy to sell this one. Monarch, under head coach Jimmy Dexter, they're humming right now. They've got a group of leaders, a lot of veterans, and they're led by Blake Bride, who's a senior winger with high skills and so many ways to hurt opponents. And then Jake Young, a first-line centerman who is hockey tough, pound for pound. For head coach Jeff Melnicki, his squad coming off of a state title season, lost a lot of leaders, but still high-level execution, and so many great players, including Danny Taggart, who's a very skilled forward with no shutoff in his game, and then big Blake Hoffman, not a better defenseman in the entire region. We've got top-ranked Monarch against number three Cherry Creek. I'm Marty Cesario in what should be a loud barn in Greenwood Village for your Xfinity Sports Report Game of the Week. Here we go as the defending champs look like they're ready to rock and a lot of scoring in this one, so let's get right to it. Top ranked Coyotes not wasting any time. Monarch on the power play and Blake Bride biding his time and then sends it to net, tipped by Jake Young and just like that, the Coyotes have the first goal of the game just three minutes in. Two minutes later, Coyotes working in the creek zone again. Frankie Torres sends it in from the point. Puck bounces to the front of the net. First try by Brandon Van Hout, and then finally put in by Jake Young, his second goal in the first five minutes of the contest. Just a minute and a half later, Monarch searching for more, and once again it's Bride circling the net, looking for the wraparound, but instead finding his teammate. That is Andrew Pickner, who will light the lamp, and can you believe it? Coyotes are up 3-0 just six minutes into the game. Mohai Puck is stoked, while the Cherry Creek bench is stunned. But Monarch was not done. The fortunate bounce, the puck finds Jake Young, right side slot. He turns, shoots, scores. It's 4-0, 11.50 mark, first period. In fact, Monarch would lead 6-0 after the first, a grisly opening period for the defending champion Bruins. To the second period, and Creek showing you they still have a little fight in them. They make a change in net. Kyle Englert will take over, and then they finally find some offense. On the power play, Sam Harris leaves it for Danny Rosales, who fires a shot from the point, and there it is. Finally, the Bruins have some life. Two minutes later, more from Creek. Centering pass to Sam Harris in the slot, fires the shot, deflected, but trickles into the net. A break for the Bruins, they'll take it. Enough to think, could Cherry Creek be back in this hockey game? The quick answer to that question, within 40 seconds, is no. Battle for the puck, right circle, pops free to Jake Young, and look at the stick handling. His fourth goal of the game, playmakers celebrate, and Mohai goes on to roll Cherry Creek. Well, you're going against a really good hockey squad, defending champions, you jumped ahead of them 6 up, and how were you able to do that? Uh, we just came out really strong. Last year, we still have the taste of that loss in our mouths and we really want to come out and show them a lot better. I think these guys were hungry from last year losing. We have a ton of returners, so um, I knew they would come out hard and we got a great start. I never thought after the first period it would be 6 nothing against Creek, but we'll take it. Big weekend last weekend again at Oakford Tournament. We played some good teams, came out here against a good team and just kind of carried in off of that weekend. Good passes from my teammates, everybody's working hard and we're just able to, I mean, I don't think we expect them to be up 6 to drop for the first period either. We just kind of got lucky, had a little bit of a goal in the second period and we were able to kind of get back into it and go in and get the momentum back and finish the game out like we wanted. We hyped this up as a battle of elites in the state of Colorado. We showed that. You saw all the talented players out there between two great squads. But in the end, Monarch showed you why they are number one in the state of Colorado. Jumping on the defending champions, Cherry Creek 6-0 in that first period, and then just coasting from there. Jake Young with four goals, one assist. Brandon Van Hout with three assists for a very talented Monarch squad that wins 9-2 this evening in Greenwood Village. For the Xfinity Sports Report, Marty Cesario.